Hello everyone and welcome to Maggie's Possum Journey. How are you all doing? Hope you all watched Maggie's day out at the pet festival. If you have missed out on it, do watch it out as I will share the link in the description. Now, coming back to the day when we came back from the pet festival, honestly, we were so tired that just had an early dinner and slept off. The next day, all three of us were set to see all the goodies that Maggie got from Pet Vet. We were really very very excited. So the next day, I laid down all the gifts that were there one by one and laid them on the table and Maggie took the best seat so that she could have the wonderful view. Well to begin with there were two photo frames that and the two photos were clicked by a very famous floor cleaning brand and they very beautifully framed it for us and gave us as a memory. And look this little fellow was won by Maggie in one of the games that she played. She was very happy. The floor cleaning brand also gave Maggie this toy and she really enjoyed. Maggie also had a health checkup, a very serious one, and got the certificate of fitness. Well, moving on, there was a lot of shampoo, dry shampoo, and it's going to be very useful when Maggie goes traveling. And there were a lot of treats and dog samples that they said if we use would be very good for them. There was also a toothpaste for the dogs. Then we got two samples, two bottles of floor cleaners which if we use are very good for the dog fur. But this is something I really loved. This vibrant yellow bowl that definitely I'm going to carry with me next time when we go for a travel or a trip where Maggie can eat from. Well, what next? There were so many treats and dog food of different kinds that helped dogs of different ages. And it was rather good for people who were new dog parents. They could try a lot. This one in particular was Maggie's favorite. And I think I'm going to keep that for her. But some of them I had seen for the first time, which were good for dog's energy. And they also said that it was good for dog bone density. I got this very cute bag that I was very excited about and we can keep Maggie's stuff all of them put in into this bag whenever we go out. All in all we had so many things that forget about Maggie even I got excited. But then I told Maggie, Maggie since you've got so many would you like to share some with your friends who live on the streets? Well Maggie was rather happy you know. And because she's very kind and she always likes to share her things I think even this time she liked the idea of sharing some of the treats that she got with her friends because when I packed the food and when I took it along Maggie was rather happy to go along looking for her friends in the neighborhood so she wagged her tail and set up sniffing for them looking for her friends and where were they? And I told her in between, Maggie, see these are the boxes that we are carrying and I hope we find your friends, all of them, if not all, some of them we'll give them today and some we can come tomorrow and also give them and they'll be happy. And you know, in my heart, my softest corner goes for the streeties that are on the roads who hardly have anyone to look after them. And it's really sad during winters and summers when the weather conditions are extreme and that's when they don't know how to even protect themselves. But anyway, there are many kind souls who help the streeties on the road, feed them, give them water and God bless them for this wonderful gesture that they always do. Although there are many people who oppose in the neighborhoods to feed street dogs. But what can we say? There are lives at the end of the day. And we are all created by God and must be kind as much as we can and in our little capacity. Okay, coming back, we searched for a lot for Maggie's friends 
and finally we got this little fellow he is a very friendly guy as all of them are so i first offered him the box but he didn't understand and wanted to play so i told him no you have to eat we've got some food we'll play later maggie watched all this in sheer happiness and i was so happy that finally he started eating there was one more day that i got some food for this little fellow and at least till the time that i was there he didn't know that this was food to be eaten they are not used to uh, the package food you know so probably he didn't know what to do with it but this time when i gave it in the bowl he didn't know how to eat out of the bowl so i gave him on the leaf and on the street that they are generally used to to my heart's content this time he had the food right in front of me it meant that the poor soul was hungry even you know he had become so thin and lean in the coming days but little bit into his tummy and his stag the he started wagging his tail he wanted to play so i told him no no playing first you finish your food and then we'll play you finish it up so he sat again poor little baby and then we i looked for his brother everywhere but i couldn't find him and then finally got a glimpse of his brother as well see how thin even this fellow has become they were not in such a bad shape you know before but i guess they are not eating well these days people are not giving them too much of food but this fellow also was very happy now maggie quickly went past and papa actually grabbed maggie because you never know out of excitement there are times when they might just scratch up each other so our first destination was covered and we found maggie's second friend now this fellow actually is not very fond of maggie you know and whenever we pass by he screams and screams at maggie but i know they have their own emotions and look at him he has so many skin issues his ear was bitten and you know last year somebody threw hot water on him which was unbelievable but that's the story of all streeties we can't protect them although we want to so i called the others also come come down and have some food have some treats maggie got you some this fellow specially just gets really agitated when he sees maggie but with maggie's mama he is as friendly as he can be i called the others as well so i gave them all the food and they were very happy now it was time to head back home maggie was very happy her energy levels just became double that all her friends got some food some treats that she had earned in the pet fed yesterday so that brought us to the end of this wonderful day and i was happy that maggie could do something for her friends on the streets so if you liked this episode in maggie's life please put a like follow the follow the channel and also share it with all your friends so that maggie's stories reach out to many and till then bye bye and hugs from maggie